So good morning, welcome back. So a couple of weeks ago, I saw a post on one of the wildlife groups about a little owl hide. So I got in contact with the lady, Sharon. Uh, unfortunately, the owls had sort of left. Basically what had happened, I think there were two parents and there were four chicks. Um, chicks have just started, well, a few weeks ago started to fledge and I think what had happened was during one of the nights, either the sparrowhawk or a tawny owl had one of the chicks. And then about two weeks ago, she noticed another chick as well that had been uh, fresh feathers on the floor. So that had been taken as well. So she suspended all of the people coming into the hide for a few weeks. Uh, but she got in contact with me a few days ago and said that basically that the owls are back. Um, there's one parent which is at the moment sitting in the tree um, and there's two chicks as well. So I come down this morning, um, it's not too far, it's about 45 minutes from where I live, it's in a place called Droitwich. Uh, I'll leave the link down below of the, of the hide itself. The woman I spoke to as I was coming in this morning, Sharon, very, very polite, very knowledgeable. Um, the hut itself, I'm all by myself today. I have all the social distancing and things, sort of hand creams and towels and everything else here as well. Um, so I'm just waiting for the owl to come. It's a little bit breezy this morning. It's probably sort of 10, 12 miles an hour wind. Uh, it's quite clear blue skies at the moment, but it is forecast for a little bit of cloud cover to come over later. They have been out this morning. So I've got a few photos and I've got a few videos. I'm just looking. Um, yeah, so I've got a few photos, I've got a few videos this morning as well, um, both of one of the parents and two of the um, fledglings, little owls as well. So they were hopping around on the post. So what I'll do is I'll just be quiet for a little while and see if they come back. Um, basically the, the lady Sharon, she gives you all the food to put out. So there's there's three perches, there's a, a, a gate type thing, so I'll show you in a second. There's a gate, there's a post, and then there's an old sort of wheel type thing as well. Um, but what I'll do is I'm just gonna wait now for 10, 15 minutes, see if the owl comes down and just has some of the food that, uh, that I've put out.
wow, that was a great sort of five, ten minutes or so. Um, so we're juggling between taking some video, taking some stills, taking some video. Luckily, the owl was just sat there on the perch for most of the time, so I could just sort of leave the camera set up. Hopefully, the uh, autofocus on the Z6 was okay, and it's picked it up. It looks okay on the back of the camera. Um, and I've got some stills as well. But then, I don't know, I think it was a, a, a sparrowhawk flew over there and called, um, and the owl just literally just darted from the post and went straight into the hole, didn't even touch the side, didn't even stop, just went straight in, straight into the nest. So I'm presuming that it was a sparrowhawk that took the the two chicks or the two fledglings. Um, but hopefully it's sort of half one, so I've got a few more hours yet. Um, beauty is as well, the sun has now sort of gone behind some clouds, so we're getting some lovely diffused soft light, um, not the harsh light that it was first thing this morning anyway, so that's perfect. Um, again, it's gone a bit quiet, so what I thought I'd do is, while we're waiting for the owl to come back, uh, just talk you through some of the settings on the camera. So if we start with the stills camera, um, what I've got is obviously the Nikon D850 with a 5 4 lens on there. Settings wise, I haven't stopped it all the way down to f4. Um, I'm normally around about the f5, f5.6. It's twofold. One is I think it's a little bit sharper around the f5, f5.6. And also I think maybe it just needs to be calibrated ever so slightly because I think it's slightly front focusing. Um, so obviously opening it up to f5.6 helps with that. Shutter speed wise, I'm on around about 1 500th of a second or 1 640th of a second. F5, F5.6 with auto ISO, which is normally coming in anywhere between 100 and 250 ISO. It depends what the weather's like, uh, whether the sun is behind a cloud or whether it's not. But really, you don't really need super fast shutter speeds for the owl. Um, it's not a fast moving bird in flight. Most of the time it's on a perch, so 1 500th or 1 640 is perfect. And I'm on single point spot focus meter mode. Uh, the Z6 for the, for the videos, um, so I'm varying it between uh, 60 frames a second and 120 frames a second. So obviously when I'm on 60 frames, I'm shooting at 1 120th of a second. When I'm on um, 120 frames a second, I'm shooting on 1 over 2 50th of a second. Auto ISO, uh, this lens stops down to f5.6, so I'm varying it between f5.6 and f8. Again, depending on what the weather. So earlier on when it was really bright and sunny, I was having to shoot down, open it up to F8, um, just to try and get the shutter speed down a little bit. Uh, but now the sun seems to have gone behind the cloud. I can get away with having it at F5.6. That lens on the Z6 is perfect because obviously it doesn't need any formal calibration because it's a mirrorless camera. Um, and for the video mode, I'm shooting on auto area full time, small I think it is um, I just find it works really really well rather than having it on the uh, the normal tracking modes just the auto area full wide small I think it is so it's a, it's a, a bigger box than the sort of single point um, but basically the box cup the size of the owl and where I am basically the box covers the whole size of the owl so it's hopefully I don't know it looks as though it has but it just keeps the owl in focus uh, so that's it really, so just playing around with, with settings um, and say the, the owl sort of was quite spooked earlier. Uh, there was a, a sparrowhawk flew over and it went into the tree. I haven't seen it come out of the tree, I presume it's just come out the back of the tree somewhere. Um, but you know, the, the, the little owl didn't even touch the sides, didn't even land on the perch, just went straight into the hole, closed its wings then just dived straight in. So obviously you know, the sparrowhawk being around, whether that's going to keep him inside for the rest of the day, I don't know. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this video here. It's quarter to three, so I've been here since eight o'clock this morning. But for today, I'll say that's probably it for today. So thanks for coming along and I'll see you on the next one. But until then, take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.